Okay, so it is currently five in the morning. It is super dark outside right now. I don't know if you could see that, but basically the reason that I am up so early is because last week I posted this video where I basically got up at five in the morning every single day for a week. And now my body is used to waking up at five in the morning. So I'm going to make use of that. I decided that this morning I'm going to be extra productive. I want to get as much done as I can. So I'm going to be following the billion dollar morning routine that I've been seeing all over YouTube. There is 10 steps in this routine and the first one is recalling my dreams. I actually have been doing this where every time I remember one of my dreams, I write it down in my notes. last few steps did require me to drink some water, do some breathing exercises, which I was not too familiar with, so I definitely wanted to burst out laughing like every five seconds during this, but we got past that. Okay, this next step says make a move, meaning I have to work out, and I really don't feel like working out right now. But I will make the effort to just move my body, so we're gonna do some simple movements, okay? Nothing crazy. One of the last steps was to take a cold shower and I will admit I was not able to go through with it because I'm used to steaming hot burning showers that this was killing me and I had to make the water warm again. So, I just got out of the shower right now. I'm feeling very fresh. I'm gonna start getting ready. I have a very busy day ahead of me. I have a lot to do today. So, I am going to be getting all the more important things done first thing in the morning. That way I could have the rest of the afternoon to myself and I could just relax and do whatever I want. Yeah, today should be pretty interesting. Let's get into it. This is my little outfit of the day. It is on the more comfortable side just because I don't really feel like putting that much effort into my outfit today. I don't really feel like being locked up in my room. So I'm going to be heading to a coffee shop and getting some work done there. And since the coffee shop is a literal five minute walk from my house, I'm just going to be walking there. So let's go do that. I just left the coffee shop right now and I'm literally just going to walk to the nail salon right now because I realized that I'm late for my appointment. I didn't even tell you guys, but I've been needing to get my nails done because they are so bad. So I'm just going to walk there because it's not that far from here and hopefully they didn't cancel my appointment. I should only be like five minutes late, so wish me luck. sit in one corner of my room. How does this happen? Ooh. Once I finished cleaning up my room, I took some time to package some Depop orders that I've been meaning to ship out. I'm the boy in your other 
So now I'm going to start getting ready and by getting ready I do mean doing my makeup because I've actually been meaning to go out to do some shopping for some stuff that I've been needing To keep what I said short today I was basically planning on going to Lush to restock on some of my favorite soaps Then to Hobby Lobby to get some brown clothing dye which I'll explain why I need later Also can't forget the post office and lastly I was planning on stopping to get some lunch And now here's a rundown of what I ended up doing this day First I stopped at Hobby Lobby and luckily I was able to find the dye that I was looking for Literally there was only two left in the store so it was like meant to be Then I stopped by Lush but sadly they didn't have the soap that I was looking for So I didn't end up getting anything there After I made a quick stop at the post office and lastly, I ended up going with my sibling to get some Chipotle for lunch. And yes, I have been craving Chipotle for the past two weeks. Let's not talk about it. So okay, so I just got back home right now. I'm going to be eating my food really quick. And yes, I do eat my food in my room. Because I don't like eating in my kitchen for some reason. Don't ask me why. Let's do a little Chipotle haul. We got this juicy, scrumptious, delicious burrito. Napkins and hot sauce, of course. If there's one thing you need to know about me, that I eat hot sauce with 90% of the foods that I eat. I love hot sauce. And... Okay, so now I'm going to be doing something that I've been wanting to do for a while now and that is dyeing my Converse. I've had this old pair of Converse just sitting in my room for the past few months and I've been meaning to do something with these because I did almost give these away at some point but because I've been seeing so many of these TikToks on my For You page recently of people dyeing their old Converse brown, I decided to keep them because I really wanted to try it out. So today I finally got to pick up some brown dye from Hobby Lobby. This is most likely going to take me the rest of my afternoon and I should probably stop Talking, so let's get into it. Okay, so I just filled up this huge tub with hot boiling water. I am going to be doing it in this because I saw someone on TikTok recommend doing it in a plastic thingy. I did also just cover up the bottom of the shoes with tape. A lot of people were using different methods for this. Hopefully this works. I feel like it won't. Either way, it's already super dirty. So I'm going to have to end up going in and cleaning it with acetone afterwards anyways. But yeah, so now I'm going to start the process of dyeing these. I'm going to be following the instructions on the back of the dye and wish me luck, guys. Guys. Okay, so now I'm going to be leaving the Converse to die for about 30 minutes, which is what the bottle says. Okay, it has now been about 30 minutes, and I'm gonna check to see what they look like. Oh my god. I don't know if you could tell, but they are a bit darker now. And the tape didn't stick on too well. The dye ended up going through it. But it shouldn't be a big problem. I should be able to get it off with acetone if it's that big of a deal. I'm going to be leaving them out to rinse now in my sink because the color should look a lot better once I rinse them out and I get them washed. So I'm going to be doing that now. And hopefully this doesn't end up looking too bad. <laughs> So update, it is now later in the day. I did end up taking a break. I ended up not really doing anything for the past few hours because I got tired and I just needed to relax. For the past few hours, I have been letting my shoes sit out in my kitchen and this is what they turned out like. I love them. I love how the color turned out. The color of these came out so nice. Can we just take a moment to appreciate this shade of brown? It is so pretty. I can't. I didn't expect myself to love the results of these this much. I honestly had pretty low expectations for these considering that I've never done this before and I thought I was gonna mess up really bad but I love them and if you guys are looking to achieve the same color you should probably try out this chocolate brown dye instead of the darker brown one I'm obsessed with it and no this is not sponsored but yeah one thing I will say though is that I'm not a big fan of how the bottom of these shoes turned out as you can see there is still some staining I did try my best to take it off with bleach vinegar and acetone and it did take off a pretty good amount as you can see but yeah I had a lot of fun at doing this today and today in general was a very interesting day and yeah I think I'm just going to end the video here now because all I'm going to be doing now is my homework and going to sleep soon and you guys probably don't want to see that so that is it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it I don't make these kinds of videos often just because I don't think that my life is that interesting but if you guys enjoy watching these videos definitely let me know so I can consider making more also I look so red right now like what is going on 
Or am I red? Because I'm blushing. Or maybe it's because you're making me blush. Just kidding. No, yeah, I think I'm red. Anyways, I'm gonna go now. Love you guys very much, and bye!